finally Friday. Hi. I'm babysitting this cutie pie. And Ava's helping me because she's the best sister ever. Um, and I'm gonna go out tonight. That's what I'm ready for. Is this dog not a princess? Oh my God, she looks like a stuffed animal. She doesn't even look real. I'm the luckiest girl in the world because my best friend loves to glam me. And I mean, I look like wow. I'm airbrushed, airbrushed or some shit. Don't because... zoom in on me. No, you look amazing. You I don't know what I'm gonna do when she moves because I can't do makeup. So... We're gonna do a step-by-step -step yeah. tutorial on how I glam. I live with yeah, my own personal stylist. Always uh, killing it, killing me. Sex hair. I wear these booties every time I go out. They fit me so well and they look good with every outfit. I try to switch it up, but I literally wear these every time I go out. I don't even care. We always take pictures in this bathroom here. Yeah. This is the go-to post. Cares all about this leg situation. Cheers. Starburst shot. Love you. This is the time to go downstairs. Do you want us to help clean up? We're not helping. Do we tab out? Can we tab out? Peace and love and blessings. I'm taking them. Go. Go. Get it, girl. Yes, girl. Get it. Oh my god. I've never seen someone so hot. Get that pic. He's doing my phone. I just took a video of you. And you're like, that's it's not so why we came down here. I'm like, yeah, it is. It's so Wait, funny. no, but like, serious on every level on this earth, do on I say hi? Wait, he doesn't talk to my family anymore. On every level on this earth. No. No. Good end right now. We're going to the end. Look at me. <laughs> Let's vlog real quick and then we'll totally okay, we're him and go to we're 42 Jeff. Okay, 42, got it. Vlogging. Oh, we've been vlogging the whole time. Good. Almost 30. Anyway, seconds. we're here. We're closing down the bar. So we do every weekend. Every weekend, closing and down the bar. Joe hates us. Coming over here. It is January 11th. <laughs> 11. January 29th. 11. 11. And it is 60 degrees outside and it's 10 in the morning. And it's going to be this nice tomorrow. So and now. We're going to be brunching. brunching so yeah, so now we got to make baby. brunch plans Woo. tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Just left Kara's. Whoa. Okay. This is what happens when I go out. But I just left Kara's house and I'm stopping at the grocery store to. um to pick up some food because my dad's best friend is like coming into town. I'm picking up food from the grocery store because my mom's gonna cook. We also are getting about five or six trays of food from my dad's restaurant. Do we need more food? No, I don't know why I'm here. Wow, this weather is literally insane. It is so nice out. Uh, my lips are crusty, gross. Okay, whenever I like shop, I'm always just dancing to myself and like singing in my head. I can't dance and I need to realize that like people are probably staring at me like I'm crazy, but I also could care less. Got all the food here and now I gotta go to the restaurant and pick up the real food. I got a green juice. Wipe away. Last night. Also, me, Karen D really wanted to go to like a brunch today and you know, look cute and take pics, but I live in the middle of bumblefuck ass nowhere and there's nowhere to like go to a cool brunch around here. So of course I was doing too many things at once, trying to dance and drive and drink my green juice. And I spilled it. My sister just got into paddle. Oh, I'm so proud of you. She just got into high school. Like got accepted into the high school she wanted to go to, which was my high school. Are you excited? Yes. I'm excited. I want to go. Here I went. What were you just saying about me? How your dances are so awful and I hope people don't go blind from it. I literally said that earlier when I took a video today for my vlog. I was like, yeah, I'm like a really bad dancer. I gotta stop just dancing all the time. You could get judged if people think you're dancing. Who cares? Do what you want to do. Your dance moves are horrible. <laughs> this was you. <laughs> so I just used this for the first time, the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. It's really soft, makes my skin feel really soft. I normally use the Kiehl's Multi-Corrective Moisturizing Cream. It's in like a purple jar. Vlogging. Yes, Ava, I'm vlogging. You always are interrupting my vlogs. I also just started recently using like 
BHA and AHA exfoliants, and I just feel like that's like the next thing I needed to add into my skincare routine. I've only used it once. I feel like my skin looks really good right now. I don't know, I'm excited to continue using these. So my uncle, who's not actually my uncle, you know what I mean, everyone has one of those, is almost here for lunch. I can smell the sauce. Oh, I need to literally douse myself in perfume. Whenever someone's here, they all like to look at the window. Who's outside? Oh. You remember me? Yeah. Yeah. So much food. Bourbon, salmon, ravioli, and chicken piccata. I know, there's so much food. All this sausage and meatballs. This is why I don't, this is why I don't come here. Cheese is under the sauce, and it actually tastes really different. It's really good. What is this? Buffalo chicken dip? The best. My dad makes the best buffalo chicken dip. I'm picking up Kara from work. She works at a restaurant, so I just go in and have some drinks until she gets off, and then we walk to the bar next door. She's gonna glam me up. Kara is glamming me in the back of the restaurant that she works in, in this like private room. Glam time. Glam time at La Verona. Get this shoot started. <laughs> oh, I found my shoes. <laughs> Good. Because I didn't want to wear gross work shoes out. Oh. Was it too bright? No, you're so hot. Kara killed you're my makeup. You're literally airbrushed. I feel like it literally looks airbrushed. Like, like it does. Oh my God, you're so hot. Thank you for doing my makeup. Makeup by Kara. Fire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get drunk. <laughs> nice. Kara just fell. I just, she just she, fell so hard. Awful. She tried to come out of this little Dude, I'm happy thing. I'm hit this. She's like, oh, you have I to step broke, on the chair. I broke the chair. Went, <laughs> I almost died again. She went through the chair. Went through and the chair. Her and her legs, legs were wrapped around. Terrible. Face, like, smacked down on the concrete. And I was like, oh, my God. You know, I wish I got that on video. But I didn't start vlogging because I literally thought she was hurt. Like, I was like, oh, shit, we're going to the ER. Her ankle's broken. Here to tell the tale. Kara told me I should be vlogging. So here we are. Taking Vegas bomb. Oh. The hottest bartender My ever. best friend, the, the hottest bartender ever. Like, that's all. Don't rip. You need to do this. You need to just let it sit in your hand. Kara, that's my drink, but you can have it. Oh, uh, I can't. I gotta go take it. No, 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 no. 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 Kara, stop. That will spill in your purse. I'm watching it. You don't give a fuck. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Seriously, I can't. My keys are soaking from the Red Bull vodka. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, oh. Kara, come on. <laughs> oh, no. I told you not to take a 20. Fuck. I mean, a uh, Red Bull vodka to what go. The fuck? <laughs> what? Take a 20 to go. Dude, come on. This was a Christmas gift. So, I lost my earring back and my hoop fell out. So, I've had one earring in all night. And I had no idea. Look at Kara's bruise from falling through the chair last night. It's another beautiful day. I just got home from last night. Drove home, no shoes, cause I only had heels. My brother's about to go back to Penn State. I'm pretty sad about it, but I wanted to make sure I was back to say bye. I'm laying outside like I'm tanning. You comfy, buddy. You deserve to rest. Just bought my ticket to Bonnaroo. I'm so hyped. I've only ever been to one music festival before. Firefly in Delaware. And I've just always wanted to go to a bigger one. Update on Kara's fall. Where she fell is where they take out the trash. Oh. <laughs> so the ground was really nasty. So she ended up having to get a tetanus shot oh, for all yeah. of her open cuts. I still have bruises. Is your bruise still bad? Oh yeah, it's, we'll, we'll do an update today. We're back at the nail salon. $25 acrylic. <laughs> Please look at Kara's nails. Stab me in the heart with those. They are <laughs> so hot. Wow. Yours look good too. Yeah, but uh, yours are just, mine are cute. Yours are like hot. Fire. Like that matte black. In a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> the try it kit. We're Kylie in here Jenner. fantasizing about Kylie. Mess with Kylie, her. Kylie, adopt me, please. Mm. I'll be the best daughter you've ever had. <laughs> I'm older me. than you. <laughs> I think this one's hung over in that one. blackout. <laughs> this one needs to be me. <laughs> blackout. Wait, turn it over, turn it over. The best one, the best name on the list. Kylie Jenner, you are the list. <laughs> Literally. Can you see what this looks on my lid? Is this illegal? No, it's not illegal. Okay. So it was supposed to be my other job 15 minutes ago. My boss from my social media job called me this morning because I posted the wrong image onto the wrong client's account. And now I'm locked out of the account and can't delete it. He's in Amsterdam, so he can't delete it. So now 
both my bosses are annoyed at me because I posted the wrong thing on the wrong account for the one job and now I'm super late for my other job. I also have this big doctor's appointment today because I'm finding out if I'm fertile or not because they think there's something wrong with my uterus. So today's going great. I have so much going on between my jobs. This big doctor's appointment today. I'm going to New Orleans on Thursday. So I have to pack some at some point. I also look like a greasy, nasty ass mess. My really nice wallet also got like destroyed yesterday. I don't even know how. There's some gross stain on my seat. I'm just gonna use sanitizer to try and get it off. I literally look so gross right now. Like, where's my hair? It's pinned to my head. I really enjoy driving, so I'm actually excited to have my little drive to school. It'll de-stress me. I will just jam out. It'll be a good time. Do you ever feel like you can double check if your car is off? Because I feel like that all the time. I don't wanna walk in. So I just finished my ultrasound and everything's fine. I think I kind of just freaked myself out. And honestly, I know like you never really know if you're infertile or not until you're trying to have a baby, which I'm not trying to do anytime soon. They just told me that I have PCOS, which I already knew. Oh God, I think I'm on the wrong floor for my car in the parking garage. Damn it. Anyway, that just means my hormones are like out of whack, which is why my voice is so deep and I don't have any boobs, but that's fine. Yeah, so everything's good. My car's right here, let's go. My lady or doctor was actually so nice. We were like laughing the whole time. She made me feel so good. She was like, you're so skinny, I love it. It makes it so easy to read the ultrasounds. And I was like, thanks girl, I'm not feeling skinny. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but when I said that I had an issue with my first job, so I was like late to my school job today. The issue was like, okay, I'm a social media manager. I do social media for a bunch of different clients like in the area. One of them is a funeral home. And I accidentally posted something for the funeral home onto the account of like a really big bar, like a college bar. And my boss for the social media job is in Europe. And so he texted me because he saw like the posting go up before me. And he was like, yeah, like, can you take this down? And I couldn't get it down. He couldn't get it down. And the owner of the bar couldn't get it down. So there was like this whole thing about a funeral home on this college bar's page all day. Would you look at that? I found my good pair of diamonds. Still not real. Like I said, I could not buy real diamonds because I would just lose them. But they were, I had my Supergas right here, which are disgusting, by the way. I've tried to clean them so many times. They're just shot. I tried to pick them up and the diamond was under there. I'm so excited. I find and lose these all the time. I'm just going to dinner to have Kara serve me. Kara always hooks it up. Okay, not to be creepy, but one of my clients, like I said, is a funeral home. So I always see photos from obituaries on my laptop. Like I drag and drop them and then I forget. It's kind of morbid. And then I almost feel bad deleting them. 